All right, what's up guys? So tomorrow I'm gonna head out fishing. Before you do, I wanna show you what kind of lure has been working really well because I've been seeing a lot of small little bait fish inshore in the marsh. So we'll be taking out these bad boys right here. And you're probably wondering yourself, well Nick, those look like gummy worms. Well, no, not really. These are not gummy worms here. These are bugs fishing lures. More specifically, this right here is called the flats bug. And this right here is the 1 8 ounce, I believe it is. 1 8 or 1 16th, I can't remember. But these things have been absolutely killer out there. The redfish and flounder absolutely love this particular lure. Don't know why, but my hunch is because of the size of the lure itself. It's probably about right at two inches. But if I, I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ch change out the trailer to a Strike King Slavalicious Tuxedo, the black with chartreuse. And that will probably extend it out to probably maybe two and a half inches. But that size lure mimics the size of the bait that we've been seeing out there in the marsh. And the flounder redfish have been pounding it on this particular lure right here. And this has been money, man. I'm telling you what, guys. If you're looking for the lure, the answer right now to catching redfish and flounder in the marsh off a kayak, look no further than the flats bug. This thing's been money. Honestly, I use all colors. I'm gonna be using this color here too. This is, I believe this is called natural. But I do like the black and gold. There is a new penny color which I really like and I do like this natural one. It just looks dark, it contrasts really well in our dookie stained water. But yeah, I'm really excited guys. So you guys stay tuned. Chasing a bait? Nothing. Not even crab. Chasing the bait. What's that mean, people? It means there's no fish out here today. <laughs> They're not right, Mr. Bait. Oh, wow. There we go. That's a fish. It's a sheep's head. Wow. Nice. I'll take them. I'll take the sheepsy. Sheepsy. Cheapy boy. He's, he was hungry, man. Trying to get the uh, the Carl's bait and tackle. <laughs> I'll take it, bro. Wow, that's cool, man. Catching a sheep's head. Who would have known? Who would have known? Wow, that is a nice little pretty fella there. He was so hungry. He went for the Carl's bait and tackle uh, swim jig or swim paddle tail, rather. <laughs> right there. But man, that is a pretty fish, man. Let's let him go. Dude, what a pretty little fish. Yeah, check out those teeth first before I let them go. Check out that teeth. You don't want to put your hands in those. Go destroy that bait. <laughs> there he goes, man. They're pretty aggressive fish. But that's just amazed how he bit this on this Carl's bait. If you guys are interested in this Carl's bait and tackle little paddle tail, I'll leave a link in the description box below. So let's see if we can get another fish on the board. Alright, Mark says he spotted some fins here, so we're gonna we're gonna work our way around here, see if we can find something. Oh yeah, that's a red up there. See him? Yep. So we gotta kind of gently move our way towards there because it's it's windy. We're going against the wind too. So trying to battle this wind would be a little bit tough. This might be an opportunity. There's a fin right there. I saw him right there. Uh, by the surface. I'm going to go this way and then try to flank them. There we go. We got him. No, I did not miss my opportunity. Oh, that's a big donkey. <laughs> He's jumping out of the water. I thought I missed my opportunity. I didn't. We got him, guys. We got him. We got him. 
flats bug never fails. Look at that beautiful redfish in the water there. Creeping, boy, creeping. That's, the sooner we get this over with, the sooner I'll let you go. You gotta stop trying to go under my kite because that's a dead end, my friend. <laughs> that is a dead end, my friend. Yeah, are you done already? God, that was a very weak fight. No, just joking. You fought pretty good, my friend. Look at that. Nice little red there. I'd say he's probably right at 20 inches. We're gonna park ourselves real fast right here. And let me show you guys this golden beauty right here. Man, the flats bug. I'm telling you what, flats bug has not failed me, man. It's been such a great bait this past couple of weeks. I mean, it mimics the size of the bait fish that we're seeing out here in the new marsh. Look at that redfish, that's beautiful. He's, like I said, he's probably about 21 inches. He fought really well, saw his back just creeping in the water. Thought I spooked him, but we got him, man, we got him. Boom, live to fight another day. <laughs> there he goes, woo. Man, grinding it for about two and a half hours now, finally seeing some redfish. Uh, we're at a protected shoreline now from the northeast wind. And uh, this new marsh, man, it's, it's paying off. We just gotta be patient and just gotta thoroughly scan. That, that's the secret, thoroughly scan and be patient. That was a flounder right there. That looked like a hard wake. Right now I'm just trying to find the shoreline so I can be protected from this wind. There's a red right there. Oh man. Okay, there's a nice big red fish here in that grass line. I just saw his fin. He just disappeared in the mud. So I am kind of scoping it out. There's a lot of flounder redfish here. Water clarity is not as clear as I want it to be. It's very hard to see them through the water unless they're kind of next to the grass where I can see a contrast. I think there's a lot of flounder here too. I saw a couple of jump. So I'm just kind of blind casting because they're jumping and moving off, jumping and moving off. At the same time, I can hope I can hit a, a redfish. Just kind of see, there's a flounder right there. Lots of flounder. So, I can't seem to locate the reds right now because they're sporadic and it's hard to point them out in the water because the water is so dirty. I can't really see them. But we're gonna keep trying to try to get one. In the meantime, we'll see if we can get a flounder. There's so much fish back here because it's super muddy too. <laughs> oh, that was, that's a red right there. See that wake? Hard wake right here. There we go. We got him. I see. I knew it. I see. You just gotta look for the hard wake. That's a donkey. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Well, you know, I spoke too soon. There. Just gotta be patient and just wait for them to come to you. That's a nice red. Nice red. There he goes, man. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Woo. Oh. No, my lose this fish. He's like right underneath me. I just get, open the bail and let's just let him go. He's like right underneath me. Oh my gosh, this dude, he might've got off. That was a good red nonetheless. Yeah, I think he got off. Yeah, he spit the hook and it got caught underneath <laughs> my freaking Man, that sucked. God, that was a good redfish. I got scared. I, got, I don't know what to do. Oh, gosh, look how big this dude is. 17 right there. There we go. We got him. That was a good cast. Mm. Oh, it's a flounder. Wow, it's a big one. Holy smoke. I catch a <laughs> school of reds. I always catch flounder. I don't know why. Always happens. Look at that. That's a nice, nice big flounder. Wow, on the 
flats, but God, this is for sure a flounder hole. Big, big flounder. All right, ladies and gentlemen, look at this fat flounder. Wow, that's a big dude. I'm thinking he's probably at least 18 inches. What do you think, Mark? Yeah. 18 inches? Yeah, that's a that's a healthy boy right there on the flats bug. Flats bug's been killing it. Just like I said in my intro, the flats bug is what they've been wanting to eat the past couple of weeks. And it's still, still, still current, man. Look at that. <laughs> All right, little man. Oh, not little man. You're a big man. I'll let you go. Thank you so much. Woo, that's a big boy. Big flounder. Go make babies, buddy. It's like they keep coming out of that drain, man. It's like a, it's like a toilet being flushed. All right, one more fish and let's get out of here. Okay. I'm ready whenever you are. I just, I just want one more keeper, and I'm good. Yeah, just cast for that. All right, note to self, man. I think during the flounder run, yeah. coming here will tear it up. Oh, oh there we go. Hey. That's another flounder. Another flounder. Oh my gosh, another big flounder. My God, they're everywhere, dude. Are you joking me? Another eight, easy 18 incher. Oh my God, dude, he spit the hook too. Holy smoke, that's a big monster. Oh, that's a big one. God, this guy is heavy. That's what I'm saying, man. I've never Holy smoke. I have never dude, I gotta measure this guy. This guy is 19 inches, I bet. Dang, that's a huge flounder. All right, ladies and gentlemen, real fast. Let's just see how big this guy is. My money goes to 19 inches, maybe 18 and a half. This guy is a Mondo, man. And when I say a Mondo flounder, this is a Mondo flounder. This is one of the bigger ones I've caught in a long time. I haven't hit a 20 incher in uh, a few months. 18 and a half inch, man. 18 and a half inch flounder. Good job. Woo, that's a monster. All right, my man, you lucky I'm not keeping you. Go make some babies. I'll see you during the flounder run, all right? Oh! God, he is powerful. What an absolute superb day of fishing. I mean, it started off slow, but we found the flounder spot. This is the absolute craziest flounder spot I've ever, ever seen on video, live, anywhere possible. I mean, right now, they're still coming out in droves of schools. Um, even though it's a little bit still hard to catch because they're so focused on chasing the bait but they're all here and they're massive they're 16 inches minimum and up up to 20 inches i've caught a lot i mean redfish i mean this place right here is so such a great fishing area man i really hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a comment let me know what you guys think and i'll catch you guys on the next one <laughs>